Hi friends, I'm Arafa from Easy Approach and it's the 15th video of Flutter video series. In this video, we're gonna learn another important topic. So far, we haven't made any application that had more than one screen. And as you know, in any typical application, there are more than one screens and the user can navigate from one screen to another. So in this video, we are actually uh, going to implement this scenario in which we would have multiple screens in our application and the user can navigate from one screen to another. So let's make two different screens first so that we can navigate from one screen to another. So what I'm doing actually, I'm going in my project directory and inside the lib, I'm gonna create a new package that would actually store all the screens of our application. So name anything you want, I'm naming it screens. And inside this, I'm gonna create two different dart files which would be either stateless widget or stateful widget uh, depending on our needs. So what I'm doing actually, I'm naming it first screen. That would be our first screen and create a new dart file again inside this screen package and name it second screen now we'll make design of these two screens that we have just created but before designing these screen uh, we just uh, need to remove all these code from this uh, main file because we don't need this code and we'll replace this from our code actually so what i'm gonna do i'm actually call here uh, the first screen that would be our default screen and there would be some option in the first screen like some button so that user can click and navigate to the second screen but that would be our default screen and we are calling here in the main file inside this material app and since here it is the actually uh, the screen that would host all the other screens so we will not actually implement this material app widget we'll just start from scaffold and we'll do just designing of uh, the screen so what i'm doing here i'm just creating the new screen uh, which is actually the first screen so you just have uh, firstly you need to import this material dot dart file which we do in every screen and now we'll make the stateless widget for first screen that we haven't created and that is the reason why it is red now I'm gonna tell you a short key actually for making a stateless widget. You just have to write STLESS -E and hit enter. That would create you the whole structure for stateless widget. And now you just have to write here the name of your screen that is the first screen. It's not necessary to give the same name as the class name. You can give any other, but I prefer you to, to give the same name. And here we'll return a scaffold net not material actually because we have already implemented material here and since it is the it is the screen that is actually hosting all the other screen we don't need to uh, worry about uh, in other screen about uh, the material app actually so now we'll just give here a background color so that we can identify these two screens differently and give any color you want here I'm giving uh, the red color and here just give a yellow color and name it second screen i have just cut the code from uh, the first screen or copy it and just paste here and just change this to yellow or like orange so now we have created two different screens now we need to have uh, some sort of button uh, so that on the first screen so that we can navigate from first screen which is our default screen uh, to the second screen which would be our secondary screen actually so what i'm doing here i'm uh, creating here uh, a body of this scaffold which would be a center widget and inside this center widget I'm just having uh, I'm just having a flat button so that the uh, user can click on it and navigate to the other screen there we have a child property where we can give uh, any sort of tags that uh, that should be on the uh, button navigate to other screen and now on on press inside on press actually we'll do the main thing uh, we'll write the code so that we can navigate from this screen to another screen but before writing the code here i just want to be a bit sure that our application is correctly running so what i'm doing i'm running it up the application actually so let's first click here on this uh, first screen and you need to import the file and the error uh, i would not show anymore now i'm just running this application that must show the first screen that is the red screen and it's showing but uh, it is actually uh, not uh, properly coming so what you have to do you just uh, you can also give here uh, an app bar so that you can see uh, the screen properly so just give the title like first screen and you need to give uh, this app bar in the second screen as well 
and secondly this screen has a button which has red color so we we cannot identify this so we need to change the color as well just go in just write the property of color and give any color like blue and now if i refresh it you can see the button and the navigation or and the app bar as well now we just have to write the code for navigation but before writing the code here let's understand one thing in flutter every single is screen is called root and we can navigate from one route to another using a navigator widget so what i'm doing here i'm just writing here navigator which is a widget uh, to navigate from one screen to another and you just have to write here dot push and here you need to pass the context that is from here and here you need to give the root for this second screen so you can give the root uh, by using material page root actually uh, it's because to it, it this widget actually implements the material transition as well so that user can feel good from going from one app, uh, one screen to another and now here in here you need to uh, write uh, this builder and here you need to pass the context and you just have to return the screen uh, in, uh, to which you are actually going so you just have to return the second screen because we are going on second screen So now I think it is completed. Now we can test this if it is working correctly. So this is our first application, first screen actually, or first route. And if I click here, you can see the other screen because we haven't changed the text of this app bar on the second screen. Yeah, we should change it. Now if I refresh it, you can see here second screen. Uh, let's do it again. Go on back. If I click here, it would navigate to the second screen and if i click here which is uh, automatically uh, here available here just because uh, of material page or route actually so you can navigate back so this is how you can implement the navigator and you can navigate from one route to another and make your application a complete application that would have more than one screen in the next video we'll uh, merge all these things and make a proper application so that we can learn uh, more about the flutter and the navigator so thank you for watching